All right, welcome back, my fellow foodies. Today we're going to do beef meatballs, and I'm going to cook them three different ways. All very basic stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go through it all in this picture. I mean, we're just we're going to use it. But there's a shot of everything I'm going to use. Plus, I use something else. I use some Parmesan cheese in there too. All right, first we get to uh, do our prep. So I'm going to use some breadcrumbs. I don't particularly like using the dry breadcrumbs. You can use the one store ones if you want. You know, they have the Italian, the plain. If I was going to use them, I would use plain. But I make my own. If you have um, some leftover bread, you know, it's kind of going stale, but it's not penicillin yet. I would use that. I didn't have any, so I used fresh bread, which for me is fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, and all you do is, you know, throw it in a food processor and pulse it a couple of times, hit pulverize, and um, when it's pulverized, uh, you have breadcrumbs. So that's the first step in this. And I'm just going to transfer those breadcrumbs to a bowl uh, for easier use. I cut out the part where I dumped it all over the counter. And there you go. And you could toast those, too, if you wanted dry breadcrumbs or you want them to, to last longer. Put them on a cookie sheet in a single layer. Put them in the oven, very low heat, and toast them, basically. And you've made your own breadcrumbs. Pretty simple. And moving on with the prep work, we need to use the uh, an onion. I'm going to use a fourth of an onion, if I can get a hold of it, because looking at the screen, apparently it was all over the place. I, I record these videos, and I may not get to them for a week or two. So by the time I, I edit and narrate, I'm, uh, there's a gap there, and I'm kind of seeing this almost for the first time, just like you are. It comes back to me, though. So we have a, a approximately a quarter of a yellow onion. That's all I'm using, just a plain old cheap yellow onion. And I'm going to dice it up. Now, I'm only using uh, one pound of hamburger, or ground beef, I should say. Obviously... You may, you may be using more. Just double the recipe. Use a half an onion if you're going to use two pounds of hamburger. Or, um, ground beef. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's my upbringing, man. It's my upbringing. Blame your parents for everything, kids. What, the, what this meatball recipe is, is kind of a copy. What I'm trying to do is make my grandmother's meatballs. She made the absolute best meatballs. And she used to get so mad because as kids, we would um, want them just without the sauce or anything. She'd make a big batch, and they'd be these dark balls of wonder. And we would keep eating them and keep eating them. There wouldn't be any for dinner, and she'd get really mad, and that was grand. This is fresh basil. I happen to be lucky enough to have a, I have a basil plant in my kitchen, and then I have, actually have a couple outside, too. And I'm just going to um, chop it up here, just... You know, roll it up and give it a chop, and then this is really not my chopping knife, so this is kind of the wrong knife to use for this, but it worked. I mean, you know, it's cut, right? But it, this my I love uh, using this cleaver because it's really good for scooping. And that pretty much wraps up our prep work. It wasn't very difficult at all, was it? So we have our breadcrumbs, we have our onions, we have our basil, so we're going to throw a couple of eggs. This will hold it all together. A couple of eggs in a bowl. And I'm starting this way because it's much easier to get everything equally distributed if you start with the egg and, and kind of do all the liquid part first. We're just doing our egg, our onion, we'll throw our basil in there. And the whole point of this is just so everything is uh, equally distributed or as best as I can. You'll see later in the video where it's, you know, it's not completely equally dis distributed, but... Do you want the same thing in, your, in every bite? No. No, you don't. I'm, I, I don't care what your opinion is. I'm telling you, no, you don't. You want something fresh and different in every little bite of the same meatball. Because that's the way I make them. So a little black pepper. You get the onion, basil, a little black pepper. I'm gonna use, I always use kosher salt, sea salt. And I'm just putting a little bit in because I'm going to throw some Parmesan cheese in here, which wasn't in the picture of all the ingredients. 
Uh, but Parmesan cheese is a fairly salty cheese. I don't have any fresh parsley plants around my house, so that's some dried parsley. You could do dried basil too. You know, you don't have to have um, fresh basil if you don't have it. You can buy it, but it's ridiculously expensive. And a little Parmesan Romano. I'm, I'm going to say about a fifth of a cup or so. I, I eyeball everything, so when, I, when I'm giving portions, or what, what do you say? I'm just, I'm watching this and guesstimating what I used in something like this. I know that's a pound of ground beef, though, because that's what it said on the package. I didn't use the best you can buy, very low fat, and I didn't use the least you can buy, a lot of fat. I use the slightly obese hamburger. Uh, somewhere in the middle. I mean, you want fat for flavor, but I don't know. If you, if you don't have enough fat in there, it's just not going to be right. If you have too much fat in there, they're going to shrink to the size of a marble. So, somewhere in the middle there for the hamburger. And, uh, and my breadcrumbs. We're just going to mix those in. I try not to make this video forever long. This is a much longer video than I typically make. Or I like to make, I should say. Um, so I'm trying to cut out a lot of it and just give you the basic idea here of what's going on. Because the whole idea of this video is not just how to make the meatball, but there are three different ways of baking meatballs. And that's what I, I really wanted to show you. So I'm going to show three different ways. So I need uh, a number of meatballs divisible by three in my mind because um, because me. So I'm trying to portion these meatballs. I did a pretty good job of trying to portion them so they're all... I end up with nine is basically what I was shooting for. And I'm just going to show you, you know, cook three meatballs one way, three another way, and three another way. And that's that's all I'm doing here. So we're going to form them. Uh, uh, not a tennis ball, not a golf ball, a tolf ball, somewhere in between the two. And you can see everything doesn't get absolutely evenly distributed. And that's absolutely fine. These are homemade meatballs. You're not going to be putting them in a package in a store. Even when I, I briefly had a restaurant, and this is how I made the meatballs, just on a much bigger scale. And there they are. Mm. And they're ready to cook. So the first way we're going to cook them is traditional stovetop way. 99.5% of the time, if I'm making meatballs, this is how I'm going to do it. And that's a kind of a screeching hot cast iron pan. You can just use a regular pan too. I probably have that a little too high temperature wise. But we'll throw them in the pan. That was extra virgin olive oil by the way. In five to eight minutes I wrote, uh, that's about about right. And we'll flip them over. And you see how it gets dark like that? That's what you really want. That brown one in the back, eh. that dark one in the front, that's what you're shooting for. That's because remember now, you almost kind of want to burn the outside of a meatball. Because you're going to finish cooking it three to five minutes and turn it outside. Um, <laughs> you can read. You don't need to read that for you. You're going to be cooking this, finish cooking them in the sauce. And they'll soften up a, great, a, a lot. And you want that flavor. I mean, you want, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's, that's how I do it. And we're just trying to cook them on all sides as best I can here. Ooh, there you go, I got lucky with that one. And you can see they're not absolutely perfectly round. My, uh, <laughs> my pan fried meatballs are a bit mutated. And after a couple of minutes more, they are done. And you could have easily going on for you extra minutes on this. I mean, if you have something else to do and you forget for two or three minutes more, that's fine too. And like I said, these are meatballs. Balls. Eh. All right. Oven method. Some people like them in the oven. You know, I've done them like this before. If I want to just kind of forget about them, it takes a little longer. I just sprayed a little, um, I think I used vegetable oil in this. If you were doing all your meatballs like this, obviously you could use like a lasagna pan or a much larger pan. I'm only doing three, so I just use that little little pan there. And I have the oven at 400 degrees. 
and we're gonna start with putting them in for 20 minutes and then I forgot to film with the part where you flip them over so I did this with the film after 20 minutes turn meatballs over and return to oven for 10 more minutes and that's it that's that's the whole oven method not a lot to it and they don't come out quite as dark you could leave them in there and try to make them darker but in an oven you're kind of cooking the inside quite a bit too you're not searing the outside you know it's kind of evenly cooking so you gotta be careful with that and I wrote restaurant style deep frying them not a, a good restaurant wouldn't do this but the let's just say this is the easiest way and the quickest way and I've done this if for some reason I'm in a hurry to make meatballs you know when you're in that meatball rush and these stay pretty round because watch this Ooh, that one took off it didn't leave the pan though so fear not it uh, it stayed on the on the draining rack and that's at 365 degrees and they were probably in there 10 minutes tops and that's a deep fried meatball so that's three different ways of doing it so let's put them on a plate and we get to visually compare them see if you can guess which is which these are kind of obvious it's coming out of the baked pan and I'm just I lined them up I just want you to see the difference in what they look like anyway but taste wise I really don't think there's much of a difference but as you can see shape wise and presentation wise and once again see the ones on the left the deep fried ones those probably look the best the pan fried ones probably taste the best because you can burn them pretty good I should have burnt those more regardless of how you do them or how I do them I should say they're all gonna end up in the same place so I have a sauce uh, recipe video if you want to see that I'll try to put a link on top but every single time I try to do something like that I mess it up I'll do the best I can but they're all gonna go in the same sauce anyway and stir them up and finish cooking them. they're actually cooked you're basically just giving the sauce a meatball flavor and meatballs a sauce flavor and they're just they're making friends with each other and keeps them hot of course too so what do you do with these meatballs now well we're gonna go the traditional route and put them over pasta I wanted to show you this too we have vegetarians in the house those are vegetarian meatballs you buy it's just a package of frozen meatballs take some sauce out simmer them in there for like 20 30 minutes those are actually really really good okay so there's meatballs with pasta salad and bread a very traditional way of eating it or American Italian traditional way of eating it and you can tell by the mutated meatball that that's one of the pan fried ones um, yeah it didn't take me long to figure that out and there you go three different ways of cooking meatballs taste wise they're probably very similar but you know whatever option floats your boat is the way to go hey guys thanks for coming by I super appreciate it like share subscribe and remember you guys absolutely rock hi guys just want to say a quick thank you for watching the videos please subscribe like and share if you enjoyed them and please come back for the next one